So here are some lick photos of the upcoming Ultra Boost 21. Two months to go, 2021 will start and I would say I'm excited and I'm predicting that it will drop Feb 21 like what happened on the Ultra Boost 20. And looking at these photos, I would say that this is kind of the right route in my opinion. I would say it is exaggerated, it is big, but when you check out other running shoes as you can see the light strike the adidas adios pro using that new light strike pro it's thick the nike alpha fly next percent the brooks hyperion the Saucony, the new balance the nike vapor fly somehow the adidas ultra boost 21 is competing with this new models and i would say Yes, it may not be as amusing or good compared to the 1.0s, the DNAs, but then again, this is, in my opinion, the right route. And I would say the, the Ultra Boost 4D is not the right running gear, but then again, I must say that there is a specific audience for the 4D, but boost is life. And looking at the at these photos, guys, the thick boost mid so I'm excited. Maybe it is now 30% more. So this is the 1.0. My Ultra Boost 20 is there. I I always use it so it's very dirty. So this is my favorite. Ultra Boost the 1.0 and then one of my latest is the Ultra Boost DNA. They have the same boost midsole. So looking at these photos, it looks like they added 30% more. Now it is still has the continental outsole. So looking at the outsole, it looks crazy guys. And it's still continental. That is a good thing. Now look at that boost. So this is the 380 Yeezy Boost, uh, the mist colorway, and you can see that the boost of this Ultra Boost 21 has that same boost naming, branding on the boost midsole. I would say this is very comfy, guys. That's why I'm excited that they added this new boost technology in this running gear because I love using the 380 considering how bouncy the support is there it's not as soft it is still firm like I would say it's firm but but it's not soft like the 1.0 that's why I'm excited to see and to experience this kind of new boost technology in the ultra boost 21 so there you go guys and I think this is not a problem since the OG guys of the Ultra Boost, uh, will, uh, Adidas will still be re-releasing uh, the 1.0s, the 2.0s. That is now the, the marketing decision of Adidas. That's why I like it, the way they think about the Ultra Boost 21 because they are competing in their running category performance and I'm excited how the process will be, how that boost midsole will be. I would say I'm not fascinated about the upper, it's too simple, maybe it is not prime net but it's too early to guess what it is but maybe this is still prime net and i'm hoping that the price will be still 180 dollars 9000 pesos because that is just the right value when it comes to ultra boost now overall i would say right now i'm excited and i'm hoping that the overall bounce and technology overall support is better than the ultra boost 20. Uh, i am a long user of ultra boost so Yes, definitely. I'm excited. How about you guys? Are you excited about this Ultra Boost 21? Probably my prediction it will release Feb 2021. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to hit that like button. See you in another video.